Hello everybody, my name is Milky and today we're going to be talking about scripting doors in Halo Infinite. Now, pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, press a button, have a door slide up, you know the jazz. Anyway, how do we get started with it? Now, first off, uh, before we get started with the node, or the sorry, the script ring that we're going to be talking about, let's select that real quick. Uh, we're going to be talking about the objects that we are using. First of which is going to be a scriptable switch UNSC console. This is going to be as our input to what the door is going to be uh, moving upon. So uh, everything pretty simple to uh, include. However, uh, one thing to note is that the door is an MP object. Don't know too much about what telescoping is, um, but I tried out both options. Uh, whenever my Spartan would hit the non-NP object, uh, it would just start floating and have no sense of gravity. So we're just going to use MP for right now because it just makes things a lot easier. So um, let's get started with how to go and make the editor. So let's go and highlight both of these. Also make sure that the door is set to dynamic because we want to go and move this door. We don't want it to be static. Let's include both of these things. Hold down Q and go down to the node graph. Press on that and then right click and add object references. And voila, we have ourselves the object references that we will be using. Now, as for a scriptable switch console, um, we're going to go and put this down over here, add our node, leave that, go to events, custom, and on object, interacted. So as soon as we interact with the object, it's going to send out an input to what we want to go and do. We're going to add another node. And this is going to be object transform, translate object to point. Go and connect that right over here. You don't need to worry about activating player. Uh, this is for other stuff that I will be explaining in another video. And then uh, our object reference, which is the uh, heavy door base, where NP. Uh, go over to uh, add a node. And for this one, we want to get the object position, just so that way we, or more specifically, the game knows what the XYZ coordinates of the object is. Go and plug that in. Awesome. And then the position of this thing right over here, that's going to be based upon, go over to math, get vector axis value. So the position that this object is currently in, it's going to be set over to the axis value. And now that we have that, scoot that a little bit over there, go over to add node. variables basic vector three we can include x we can include y but as for z we're going to want to go and increment that by however much you want i like to do 10 as an example add node and then go over to math add z is going to be over here and then we want to increment this so press r go over to your properties and change that to however much you want to increment it by. So let's just say, uh, let's do 12. And there we go. Go and plug the result over to the Z coordinate and plug vector over to position. Also, we want to go and have the object reference over in the objects. And there we go. Uh, last thing to go and do uh, press on the node properties for translate object to point and change the duration to whatever you want. Um, for me, I'm going to say five seconds. It's going to be pretty quick. Movement curve, let's just say linear. And there we go. Uh, we can go back. Press F6 and test this thing out. There we go. A scriptable door. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna make more videos in the future. I'm gonna to try to get, get more uh, into experimenting with Halo Forge because this this is the best iteration of Halo Forge uh, yet, and I really want to uh, make more content regarding this. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it, and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.